What's going on guys? So uh, today we're looking at a flashlight that I kind of rediscovered uh, and we'll start using. It's actually really cool. This is an Olight model uh, from a couple years ago. All right, and this was a, a flashlight that was never actually sold, this particular gold color, which is just brass. This was a gift from Marshall Hoots. Uh, if you're not familiar, he was the person who ran Going Gear, uh, tragically passed away, very, very missed uh, in the gear community. Uh, he gave me this uh, as a gift uh, at Christmas time. He had my name engraved on it, which I thought was really, really cool. And it was a special run that it was just for, you know, friends of his. So you can see the model here is an i7R EOS model. All right, again, it is from uh, Olight. And you can see there's where you have my name uh, engraved in there, which is really, really cool. I mean, it was an awesome, awesome gift. Um, when I got it, I put it aside. It really meant something to me. It was really special, and uh, I only used it a little bit when I first got it, and I didn't want to kind of mess it up or anything. It was kind of a collector's, you know, type flashlight. So this really is a cool little flashlight. It's just one of those things where it had sentimental value to me, and because it was kind of like a limited edition, I just set it aside, and I didn't want to mess it up, um, you know, only to use on special occasions. And, you know, the older I get, the more I realize that these special occasions just don't happen as often as I might think they would. You know what I mean? So I just want to use my gear more, just to enjoy it. You know, there's nothing wrong with collecting, and trust me, I have some, you know, collectibles I just don't use because they're collectibles. Um, but it's just, it's just something I want to start using again. So this is going back on the keys, but I want to make a quick video about it and just show it in case you haven't seen this model before. It's pretty cool, just a simple little AAA flashlight. All right, you unscrew the head. It did come with a rechargeable uh, AAA, but I threw a little alkaline here, a little Duracell. All right, the head screws down. There is a magnetic tail cap, which we'll talk about in just a second here. All right, because the bottom is magnetic for charging for that rechargeable. But as you tighten the head down, it goes to low, all right, and then a little tighter, it goes to high. And I don't know the exact output on this model, it's been so long, uh, but high is actually quite bright. It's totally enough for most tasks. But what's really cool about this is that there's a little black nub, right, or tab, or whatever you want to call that. And when it goes back on the flashlight, it cuts the power. So you can literally keep this on your keys, tighten down in the high mode, and whenever you take it off, it automatically turns on. How cool is that? Uh, and obviously it does work, you know, both in high or low mode. Same thing, just magnetic, it shuts it off. Take it off, it turns on. So I thought that was just really, really neat. Like I said, I mean, this, this light was available all over the place. It's just this brass uh, one was not for sale, from my understanding. This was just uh, from Marshall to give out to some friends. So, yeah, pretty cool little flashlight. Just wanted to kind of share that with you there. Um, I don't know. Like I said, the older I get, you know, I get sentimental about things. Um, and, like, it means so much I don't want to lose it, you know. But at the same time, what's it doing sitting in a drawer? You know what I mean? So, yeah, this guy's going back on the keys. So, anyway, that's it for now. Let me know down in the comments section if you guys have an old flashlight. And even though you got newer, brighter, cooler ones, you just keep gravitating to that old model. I know for some people it's mag lights. No matter how cool and how cheap these really powerful flashlights get, some people just dig their mag lights and there's nothing wrong with that, you know? And also let me know if you happen to have a piece of gear that's really sentimental to you. I know something that's very common would be maybe a pocket knife that was your father's or grandfather's or something, but who knows? It could be a comb that was your grandmother's, you know? It, it, literally anything. I'd love to hear you guys' story about sentimental gear. So that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.